Well, it's not just here in Texas. Places all over the world right now are dealing with wildfires like what we're seeing here and unbearably hot temperatures like we've also been seeing here. And as we've reported this week, President Biden has been mulling the idea of taking strong executive action now to try to address not only the current heat wave, but climate change in general. And today he did. Here's ABC's Rena Roy. As more than 100 million Americans face heat advisories across the country, President Biden taking new executive actions to address the scorching temperatures and climate change. As president, I have a responsibility to act with urgency and resolve when our nation faces clear and present danger. And that's what climate change is about. It is literally not figuratively a clear and present danger. The actions will provide $2.3 billion for stronger infrastructure meant to withstand the effects of climate change and funding to help low income families improve air conditioning in their homes. The Biden administration also taking steps to expand wind power production off American coasts. We can make things better in terms of jobs. We can make things better in terms of the environment. We can make things better for families overall. Unbearable heat coast to coast, wildfires raging in Texas, and now the Northeast facing high temperatures, some areas hitting the triple digits. Experts say climate change has accelerated the frequency, number, and intensity of heat waves, also making them three to five degrees warmer in much of the U.S. Biden considering declaring a national climate emergency. We are in an emergency, and it is a worldwide emergency. Moving forward, marshaling resources. Senate Republicans saying they'll fight to undo it if he does. This administration lacks a coherent policy on climate, period, end of story. Climate change activists say the steps Biden announced Wednesday fall short of the more sweeping measures that are necessary to actually combat global warming. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.